It's happening here this morning from live bands to author readings, local vendors, and so much more. Summer is glowing in Wakefield for River Fire. We love this with a new addition this year. And joining us this morning to tell us everything we need to know is president of the Wakefield Village Association, Tony Jarvis, and event chair, Michelle Sansevero. Good morning. morning. Well, good morning. Nice. Happy birthday. Oh, uh, well, I thank you very yeah. much. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like that. <laughs> the fires will be lit for me well, this yeah. morning. Just, just for you and you only. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. Thank you so much. And I'm happy to be sharing it with both of you. Um, Michelle, tell us a little bit about River Fire, what it is. It really is impressive how this thing is grown. But in terms of origins and what people need to know, remind our viewers out there. River Fire has existed for 11 years. I've been involved with River Fire for last, this will be my third year. Mm -hmm. It's a wonderful community event that brings all the residents of Wakefield downtown as well as summer guests spring that are on vacation. It's every Thursday night from 5, now 5 to 8.30. We have live music at four locations and we have vendors, all the shops are open and we have community uh, kids activities, crafts at the Sari Sanctuary stage. The fires get lit by our wonderful fire crew that have so much fun um, at 6.30 and it really just is an event to come down and enjoy downtown Wakefield. This is great, and uh, Tony, Michelle alluded to uh, how it's just an abundance of activities, but that really is a testament to the fact that this thing has grown and evolved, hasn't it? It has really evolved. We've had very active presidents in the past and a very active committees that got involved, and it really has changed over to be really focused on the family and community and really taking advantage of all of the great things that the town has to offer, whether you have little toddlers or you just want to go have a beer on the bridge. It's a, across the board a great experience. A beer on the bridge, that sounds like a country song that I... I'm going to write it down. Yes. Yeah, we'll, we'll get Billy Lord to write one for us. Yeah. But it is uh, so majestic. It's so communal. Everyone really yes. rallying together. And Michelle, this has, as, as Tony alluded to, really evolved and grown. But really, seeing everyone come together to have some fun with the abundance of events for you must make you so happy to see. It does. It's wonderful just to see everybody's face smiling, everybody enjoying themselves and spreading out up and down Main Street. We have a new farmer's market down the end of the street at the Wakefield Baptist Church, which has really brought out new vendors and farmers and given everybody an opportunity to participate in what Wakefield has to offer. Yeah. Tony, do you have any favorite components and or aspects, or is it just for you, just the work, well, seeing everyone having fun? My favorite component is Michelle does all the work and I get all the glory, <laughs> so that's true, my favorite true. part. But she, she really is the, the brains behind it, and I'm just the brawn. But the, the best aspect is, you know, seeing children sitting with authors and getting their faces painted and doing art, seeing parents out in the neighborhood walking and, and talking to each other uh, and really developing the active participation in their town. That is just rewarding. I bet it is. And one of the great joys for us doing the roadshow here for the number of years that we've been doing it is the fact that we get to learn more all about these terrific communities mm -hmm. throughout the state. And for, you know, we all know we got to pack a lunch if we're going across <laughs> the bridge. That's that old Rhode Island joke. But for people who haven't made it down to Wakefield Village, you know, it really is a place they should check out, isn't it? Absolutely. It, Absolutely. it has everything from the arts to spirituality to community to shops and restaurants. So it's just... Cafes. It's just, little bars, Great little enclave. outdoor seating areas, everything is down there, just one little compact area. Mm -hmm. And you alluded to the fact that it is family friendly because we're always looking for things to do with the kids during the summertime, so that must be an added component that really brings people in. Nice, safe experience. You know, you can cross the streets without uh, worrying with your children. You can get a hot dog for your kids or whatever you need to do. It's, it's there and it just gives parents and children time together and time with their neighbors. And I love it. Couldn't and do any better. Remind us of the date so one more time so we can plan. We started last week. It runs July 13th through August 10th, August 10th from 5 to 8.30. The lit rivers get, fires get lit at 6.30. And we all know, as we learned at the beginning of the segment, this week's fires will be lit in my honor. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> all, kidding absolutely. Us, all kidding aside, I love community events. I love the energy that you bring to this. I love how it's evolved and you're just doing a, doing a great job. So Michelle, Tony, thank you for being with us. Thank you so thank much. You for the rest of the great opportunity. You've been here for the next 11 years. To the next birthday. I love it. All Sounds right. great. A pleasure. Thank, thank you so you. much for being here. Endless amounts of fun to be had in Wakefield, of course. Head on over to roadshow.com to find more information on River Fire.